Are you tired of mediocre gameplay and getting smashed in the same lobbies over and over again? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to reverse boost the easiest and quickest way and how to maintain it so that you can continue to have fun right after this. Welcome back to those of you who are subscribed to the channel. If you're not subscribed, let me introduce myself. My name is Greybeard Gamer. This channel is dedicated to tips and strategies to help you become a better Cold War player. So if you get anything out of today's video, consider subscribing. But let's go ahead and jump into this. It's very, very simple. I'm going to do this in one take. I'm going to try not to edit the audio too much. The first thing you need to do to reverse boost is create a new account. Now I know this is not news, other commenters and YouTubers have said create a new account, but the way we maintain it is gonna be vastly different. So go ahead and create that new account and get ready to go into your first three cupcake matches that everybody gets when they start playing Cold War. And here's where it gets tricky. You wanna maintain a KD of 0.3 to 0.5 in those first three matches. And in addition to that KD, you want to make sure that your accuracy is very poor. Aim to the right, aim to the left, empty your magazines, make sure that you're firing plenty of shots, but keep your accuracy low and your KD around 0.3 to 0.5. After those first three matches, you're going to be ready to go into your first boosted lobby. Go ham. Enjoy yourself. But after the first one or two lobbies that you play like that, you're going to want to go back and reverse boost for another two to three games. The main overall goal to this is to keep your KD below 0.9 and keep your accuracy low when you're in those uh, matches where you're reverse boosting. So anyway, it's a very short video guys, but I'm telling you, give it a shot. Try it. Let me know in the comments down below how it works out for you. And let me know below what your KD is prior to this. But anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you next time.